hello everyone so in this segment we are going to talk about congruence so congruence is actually very important topics in our number theory so uh, let's say n uh, a natural number n belongs to all natural number is a fixed natural number okay so given integer a b belongs to integer number we say that the number a is congruent to b modulo n if and only if n divides a minus b and this fact we can write it like that and we read it like that say a is congruent to b so this is the symbol we say that a is congruent to b okay uh, a is congruent to b modulo n so with the fact that modulo n all right so this is written as like that a is congruent to b and read it like that a is congruent to b with modulo n and when we can say that if and only if n divides a minus b all right so so here the fact is that we say that uh, here uh, if we calculate the a mod n okay and if we calculate the b mod n they are going to be same okay a mod n is going to be same as b mod n all right so in that case we can say that they are actually a and b they are actually congruent to each other with the modulo of n all right so in that case n is going to divide the difference of n a minus b and also this is same as writing a mod n equals to same as b mod n all right and we can write it like that a is a congruent to b with mod n okay so let's see one example for example here um if I consider 3 and a equals to 3 and b equals to 17 okay now uh, let's see uh, n equals to 7 okay so now if I calculate that a mod uh, 3 mod 7 which is 3 all right and uh, uh, mod means actually remainder okay and uh, b mod 17 mod 7 which is also 3 so if i calculate the remainder uh, remainder a when a is divided by 7 we say that the remainder a mod 7 is 3 and if i divide uh, uh, i mean if i divide b with 7 if i uh, n divides se uh, 17 okay 7 divides 17 so in that case the remainder will be 3 so 17 mod 7 is 3 so that in that case the remainder is same so 3 and 17 they are actually they uh, have something similarity between them 3 and 17 with a modulo value n n which is 7 okay if they are both divided by 7 okay their mod value means the remainder value is same so we can say that 3 is congruent to 17 okay with modulo n which is 7 okay and we can also see that if i calculate like 3 minus 17 okay which is minus 14 and 7 divides minus 14 okay so that means 3 is congruent to 17 with mod 7 okay all right now uh, let me ask you that's a relationship that's a binary relation okay so that's a binary relation here the relation is between 3 and 17 okay so let's see i have a binary relation r like that so where i am writing uh, a ordered pair okay where uh, each ordered pair means uh, a is congruent to b means a is congruent to b with mod n okay so that's uh, a b is a uh, here modulo n congruent modulo n is a binary relation 
सो लेट मी आस्क यू जस्ट थिंक अबाउट अ लिटल बीट वेदर दिस रिलेशन इज रिफ्लेक्सिव सीमेट्रिक और ट्रांसलेटिव ओके Alright, so let's think about that whether this is reflexive because we are we are going to think about uh, a ordered pair where the, the two values are same a and a. So we have to find out whether a is congruent to a with some modulo n. Okay. So uh, this will be true because uh, how they are going to be congruent we have to find out whether n divides a minus b. So obviously n will divide a minus a because a minus a equals to 0. Uh, Alright. So n divide 0. So this is reflexive. Okay. Now I have to find out whether this is symmetric. Now if a is congruent to uh, if a is congruent to b then is b a is in the relation means whether b is congruent to a okay now if n divides a minus b then n will divide b minus a okay because that's that will be just a, a negative relation i mean that will be just a negative value okay now we can say that if uh, n divides i mean if 7 divides uh, 3 minus 17 okay then 7 will divide also 17 minus 3 okay so that means if a is congruent to b b is also congruent to a so that's symmetric okay now whether this is transitive we have to prove that if um, a and uh, if a is congruent to b and b is congruent to c whether a is congruent to c okay for transitive it is something like that okay if there are a b and there are b c okay then whether there is the ordered pair a c is possible in this relation okay so i'm going to use in the next page So let's see for transitive, I'm saying to be transitive, if AB is there, okay, means A modulo B with mod N, all right, means N divides A minus B, all right, and BC is there, let's, that means B is modulo to C, B is congruent to C with mod N, okay, means n divides b minus c okay now i have to uh, see that whether a c is possible in this relation okay whether a is congruent to c all right with mod n all right so that will be true if n divides all right a minus c all right so let's see if n divides a minus b and n divides b minus c all right so based on the division rule we can know that if n divides uh, mean n divides b and n divides c we can write that n will divide b plus c okay we saw a couple of division properties so in that case uh, both the from these two we can say that n will divide a minus b plus b minus c all right so that says that n divides a minus c all right so that means if a is congruent to b mod, mod n b is congruent to c mod n that means obviously a will be congruent to c mod n okay so that means this is this binary relation is also transitive so the congruence binary relation congruence modulo n binary relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive So these are couple of example of congruence and let's see find out whether uh, whether this fact are true or not okay so we are saying that 20 is modulo 1 i'm sorry let me say that again 20 is congruent to 1 with mod 19 okay so i can uh, prove that if let's find out 20 minus 1 which is 19 okay so if 19 divides to 20 minus 1 all right 
all right which is true so we can see that 20 is congruent to 1 with mod 19 so here again see that 42 is congruent to 0 with mod 3 okay so that will be a space here uh, let's find out so 42 minus 0 whether 3 divides 42 minus 0 so 4 plus 2 that's 6 so 42 is divi uh, divisible by 3 so that's also true that means 42 is congruent to 0 with mod 3 so let's see here uh, minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 and that is divided by 2 so 2 divides minus 1 minus 1 okay which is minus 1 all right so minus 1 is congruent to 1 with mod 2 and here again see that mod 30 so uh, i'm going to find out minus 7 minus 23 which is 30 so 30 divides minus 30 okay so minus 7 is congruent to 23 mod 30 all right so uh, the congruence class mod n of integer a is the set of all integers to which a is congruent mod n so we are saying that uh, we represent the congruence uh, we are represent a is like that okay and this is the set of all values of b okay belongs to integer number such that a is congruent to that number okay for example let's find out that so uh, that says that if I have a number a all right and if I have a, a given number a and if I have a given number n okay which are all the numbers b that is congruent to a with mod n all right and we represent that set all right we say that uh, this is the set of all integers to which a is congruent mod n okay and we represent that like with this bar symbol okay and these are the list of all b which is congruent to a with mod n all right say for example let's see uh, we are thinking about a number six okay so let's see a equals to six all right and we are thinking about a number mod n equals to um four all right all right so uh, a mod n four equals to so uh, n so six mod four equals to two okay six mod four equals to two if i divide six with four the remainder is going to be two so now i have to find out the list of all numbers where list of all numbers uh, like n1 n2 n3 where if i divide them by 4 the remainder will be same as like this 2 okay so n1 mod 4 should be 2 so n2 mod 4 should be 2 n3 mod 4 should be 2 so then this list of numbers is going to be the congruent uh, to 6 all right so congruent to 6 with mod n all right so now with what can be the list of numbers so if we think about uh, example let's see a couple of examples we can see that if i take uh, 10 10 mod 4 equals to 2 okay uh, then 14 mod 4 uh, it's 3 times 4 is uh, 12 so 14 mod, mod 4 is 2 okay so i can say see that 6 mod 2 is same as sorry 4 is 10 mod 4 all right same so 6 is congruent to 10 mod 4 okay or 6 is congruent to 14 mod 4 or 6 is congruent to also if i take another number like 18 okay 18 mod 4 so that will be also 2 okay so an 18 mod 4 
now the six uh, the congruent set of six with modulo four is going to be uh, like that given n equals to four it will be like that so yeah, there could be some other numbers 14 10 14 18 like there could be uh, there are also other numbers okay so this is the set of uh, i mean uh, this is this represent the set of integers to which a is congruent to mod n all right so we pre we represent it like that and there are some easier way to find out the congruent set of a given value okay so let's see them so if i think about that the congruent set of number one okay so what are the uh, i'm going to see uh, i'm going to show that this one first and that will explain rest of them okay so the congruent set of one means list of all numbers okay list of all numbers which is congruent to one with a mod n all right so let's see n equals to we are considering n equals to some value five okay so i have to find out the all other numbers which is congruent to one all right with mod n so in that case actually there is an easier way to find that here n is the number that by which you are going to calculate the congruent set all right five we're assuming uh, n equals to 5 and z is the list of integer number okay so z is the list of integer number it can be 0 1 2 3 to all integer number okay and if we uh, do the plus 1 so this list is going to give me all the numbers which are congruent to 1 with mod n okay so let's see one example how I can calculate that that's our Z that's our n okay and these uh, and this set is going to be so first let uh, take 0 0 times uh, 0 times 5 plus 1 which will be 1 okay so 1 times 5 plus 1 all right so 1 times 5 5 plus 1 which will be 6 2 times 5 plus 1 okay which will be 11 so 3 times 5 plus 1 which will be 16 okay and that's how you can find out all the numbers uh, 21 okay 4 times 5 plus 1 21 so these are the all numbers which are congruent to 1 with mod 5 okay and you can actually prove that here just do some experiment so let's do that here okay so this is uh, this is true because n divides uh, 1 minus 1 0 right so then 1 is uh, congruent to 6 mod n okay so 1 is congruent to 11 mod n n is actually here 5 okay n is 5 so 1 is congruent to 16 mod 5 okay so that's how you can actually find the congruent set of any other number given a value of n all right so these are some properties of congruence all right so if a b n are the integer numbers with n greater than 1 all right and then the following statements are equivalent so if um, if we say that a equals to congruent to b with mod n all right then n uh, divides a minus b all right and this is same as writing a is congruent to b mod n okay so a will belong to the set of congruent set of b okay so because we are thinking about like the congruent set of b with mod n all the values of congruent set of b mod n so obviously a is going to belong to this this set and the same is here because this is actually a symmetric relation as you talked about so symmetric relation so if a uh, is congruent to b mod n so this is also b is congruent to a mod n okay so b also belongs to congruent set of a 
all right and in that case actually if this relation exists in that case this is going to be same so the congruence set if we can find out the congruence set of a mod n and if we find out the congruence set of b mod n for the same n actually so we'll say that this set is going to be same okay this is going to be an equal set So there are some properties we, uh, we are going to talk about uh, properties of congruence, uh, congruence relation. Okay, so we are saying that the first property we say that if A is uh, congruent to X with mod N and B is congruent to Y mod N, okay, with same value N, then A plus B is congruent to X plus Y mod N. All right, so uh, the proof actually uh, this should be straightforward it's like that we're going to think about the properties uh, which it implies that um, n divides a minus x okay and here from this from this relation it says that n divides b minus y okay now here we're say, saying two division algorithm and what does that tell if n divides a and n divides b we know that from division properties n will divide a plus b okay so let's see how it will look like if we add a minus x and b minus y so that means n divides a minus x plus b minus y okay or we can say that n divides a plus b minus x plus y okay and from that we can say that m plus b is congruent to x plus y mod n okay so the second property if a is congruent to x to mod n and if b is congruent to y with mod n then a b is going to be congruent to x y with mod n okay and for that actually we have to prove that uh, n divides a b minus x y so if we can prove that we can say that this statement is true okay so uh, here what actually we are going to do um, so we are going to start from this side so let's see a b minus x y we have this value uh, we can actually try to uh, start from here and we can see whether we can prove that a b minus x y is divided by i mean uh, is divisible by n okay so let's see if we can simp uh, if we can actually mm, just modify this a little bit so that we can prove that this value this value is divisible by n so a b minus x y i can write that like that uh, a b minus a y plus a y okay minus x y okay so i'm just doing minus a y plus a y okay so that is going to cut each other out so um these are the properties that is given okay all right so we find out that a times b minus y plus uh, y times a minus x okay now b minus y is divisible by n and a minus x is also divisible by n okay so that means this thing is divisible by n this thing is divisible by n so the whole thing okay the whole thing here is also you can say that it is going to be divisible by n all right so i can say that n is divisible i mean uh, i mean n divides a b minus x y okay so if n divides a b minus x y so that's straightforward to say that a b is congruent to x y with mod n okay 